this is Piano Cat. And Orange Turtle. And we're doing our second Rainbow Room video. Yay! Um, today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a, a cat in the hat charm. Well, actually, it's just the hat, but I don't know what to call his hat. Or it could be a top hat, and you can make it a, a top hat. Black. A black. So, what you need is a hook rubber bands and of course your loom. Make you sure don't. that your loom is in the rectangle position where the 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 pegs are straight across. All three pegs. All three pegs are straight across mm -hmm. and they're straight across here. So they should be all lined up like Okay. Okay. Yeah. So make sure your arrow the red arrow is pointing away from you. When you place a single red rubber band from the center peg to the next one in front of it. Now you're going to take, from now on, you're going to take double bands. Unless I tell you not to. Double. Put it there. Double. Put it here. Now if you're making a cat in the hat charm, you can put the stripes however you want, but I'm just doing this how I think it should be. So two rows of red. Two rows of red. You can make the top hat as long as you want. If you want it to be a shorter hat, like not as tall, you can make it however you want. But if you want it to be taller at the top, then you can make it down the whole room. It's going to go much faster than my yeah. bracelet. <laughs> it took forever. Bracelet. Hopefully we can okay, speed that so up. Then, when it should look like this. Okay, so after that, I'm gonna take two, double, put it there, and then, oops, and then another two, and put it there. Then, once you're done with that, you're gonna mm -hmm. take a cat, a cat band. What if no one ha knows how to do it? Okay, so, a, like a cat band, take one finger, turn it back up on itself, but this one, you're going to wrap around three times. So, you can put it down as if you're just making it double, but then take one of the sides and twist it around again on the loom, and then, like this. Then... Once you're done with that, you're going to take your hook. Sorry. <laughs> and you're going to wrap it around three times. Yeah, three times. Then you're going to, no, if, well, you can do it three or four times. Then you're going to wrap another one around three times. So that you have two. Then you can take a single rubber band and if you've done if you don't charm if you've done charms before, you probably have done this. Taking pulling this back and taking all of the ones on the hook back onto it. For those of you that haven't done it before, it could be tricky. You might need to do it a couple of times. You might need to practice this. Yeah. Okay. Then you're going to take it off and place it on one of these two pegs. Like that. And then you're going to do the same thing for the other side.
then you're done placing oh I almost forgot cat bands <laughs> so cat bands are like twisters well you can twist them but they're meant to hold this charm together so otherwise it'll just look floppy and weird first you can take a white one or whatever color tw um, just and just put it on you don't need to twist it or you anything. You don't need to twist it. The second one, you do need to twist. You can also use, when you twist them, you can also use your hook to place it around the number of bands that you want. And then you take a final red one, or whatever color, and you place them on the last one. Now you are done placing them. Does the last one need to be tw twisted? No. You okay. don't need to twist the last one. Okay. So after you're done with that, you're ready to hook. So you're going to hook with this five part facing towards you. So you use that to pull back your band so that has been wrapped around three times. You pull back your cat band. You can hold on to it if you if you more, feel more comfortable doing that. Move, move it onto the, there. Then you take, you go into the cat band again. Oops. I'm trying to find it. Wait. Okay. And then you move it out to the other side. Then you go in the cat band one more time and you grab that one that's going straight forward. And you go under, there are a lot of bands on this. You can turn it sideways. See, they're all red. And find those bottom two. It may take you a while, but... You'll get it. You'll get it, if you've made charms like this before. And then you do the same one on one side. And then you don't have to, you really don't have to go under that many bands again. So you can just loop up the, like, the whole loom. Now, I know you all have different ways of doing this. So maybe you do it, like, one, one row at a time. Whereas if you just do all three, I'm going to be doing all three at the same time. Whoops. Well, that one broke. Okay. okay so now we're going to teach you what to do. And if band snaps. So one only one of them snapped somehow. That's really weird. I don't know why. I really like really, really, really stretch it out. Okay. And it's just like whoa. It snapped. Okay. So the way to fix it is You're gonna wanna lift this up though. Okay. You're gonna wanna Well actually here. You can here you can take the cat band off. That just that. And you can, here, whoops. Am I still on? Doesn't really matter. But. Which one is first? You can do that. Get, get your, get a new band. And make it like that. And then put it back there. Now. And now it's fixed. Yay. Wait, where's your, and now, wait, you can put, just a second. But you're going to have to put the cat band on where it was. So you grab the top two, put the cat, cat band back on, and then put it back. Okay, hopefully the band doesn't snap. You have to be gentle with the bands. Okay, now you pull back the cat band gently because it's stretched around six pegs. So it's going to be really tense. Tight too. Okay. So gently. Okay. Gently, gently.
Okay. So, then after you root them all the way up the length of your hat, you can take wait, let me just Okay, that's what that one is. Um you can take one from either side and put it onto the middle. And then take the other one to the other side and put it onto the same side. Okay. At the beginning, she did it the other way. She went from the middle outside. If you do that on this, it'll fall apart. It'll fall apart because it won't all be held together. Okay. So then you're pretty much finished looping. You can just make a few adjustments. Oh, and I forgot to tell you this, but now you should make sure that these these um, double capped bands are straight out because you don't want like a weird top hat like that. That'd be really really weird. Okay. Then. You have to make the last, the last band that will hold the whole charm together. So you're gonna. This is actually a lot of bands, so you're gonna have to go under all of these and find just the right one. Got it? It might take you a while. It might take you a little while. Okay. Then you have to tie a knot. So grab. Wait. In order to tie a knot, I should t probably tell you. So when you have both of them on the same pin, just go under. Get the bottom one. Whoops. Get the bottom and pull it, pull it forward and use your fingers to grab that one and pull it up as tight as you can without snapping the band. Now you can. This is the easiest way to do it for me. Stick your your hook in one of the these ones and then and then uh pull it off and you can make a few adjustments to make it look flatter and more like a hat and there we go and it should Look like this when it's done, like a hat, and um, yeah, there you have the cat in the hat or top hat or wh whatever you want to make it. So, thanks for watching. Bye.